What's going on, fam? It's your boy, Papa Swolio, back with some more Extra Thirsty. We got five on the motherfucking clock, and we got some Nico Kato. Disgusting nonsense. As if you had any doubt that this video, by clicking on this video, as if it was gonna be anything but a fucking train wreck. So Nico Kato, as you know, is one of the most disgusting people on YouTube. Literally, he does snuff films every single day. He promotes obesity. Now, a lot of people promote obesity, like Tess Holiday. Foodie Beauty is essentially, I mean, Foodie Beauty is like torturing herself. A lot of people that promote obesity, like Tess Holiday, they don't necessarily show themselves stuffing face all the time. Nico Cotto is unique in the sense that he is the most shameless. The most shameless, I would say. Maybe you disagree. I mean, I don't know if there's anyone else that's more shameless, more without shame than Nico Cotto. So celebrating my, my one pound weight loss. Obviously, this is a huge troll. He was saying he's going to lose weight. He lost one pound. This is going to go on forever. You know how long this is going to go on for? It's going to go on as long as on a second channel, he gets 151,000 fucking views in 15 fucking hours. YouTube is to blame. If YouTube is censoring shit, like they censor my fucking channels, but channels like this, secondary channels that promote obesity, that promote being disgustingly fat and sick, this is disgusting. This is absolutely unconscionable. And this is YouTube's fault. Legit. The platforms that are promoting this, it's their fucking fault. I literally make videos, and this is not out of jealousy. This is just matter of fact. My analytics are completely flatlined most of the time because I am talking very harshly. But is it my naughty words? Or is it the fact that I'm literally laying it fucking flat out. If you're fat, you're going to have fucking problems. If you're promoting obesity, you're a sick fuck and you're probably going to die. These are long-term snuff films. I will say it over and over again and I won't stop because when I post content, it's for the views, but it's not for the views. It's for subs, but it's not for more subs. I post what I want to post. I am just stating a fact. This type of content gets so much traction and you know it. Why? That's the conversation we need to have. Why? This country, 30 to 40,000 people every month die from obesity related issues. Die, die, die. Everyone's worried about the C, the virus, COVID. Everyone's worried about that, killing up to 200,000 people. Um, you do realize that's like five months when it comes to obesity. So in a year, you're losing more than double that from something that's preventable with all this extra garbage medicine and pharmaceuticals that people are sucking down, depression, staying inside, locked up in the fucking summer. Give me a break. Give me a break. The lack of exercise, all this fucking shit, the garbage food on every fucking corner. You do realize that's killing much more people than this virus. And I'm not anti-virus. I'm not, I'm, I'm not, this is not a, oh, the pandemic. <laughs> no, I'm talking about Nico Cotto. I'm talking about him and his videos getting so much reach. Shit gets reach. Bullshit gets reach. This crap. Look at this sauce crap. Look at that. How many different colors of fucking sugar, salt, and fucking jizz can we make? It's every fucking color. It's every fucking... Look at And look at the color. Look at this. It's just... It's all the same. It's like light brown. It's... Oops, sorry. It's light brown. It's a little bit of a darker brown on the bun. It's that cheese. It's that fucking fried vegetable oil. It's all the same. What the fuck is this shit? This is disgusting. If you're eating this stuff, it's not real food. I'm sorry. It's not real food. I'm not fucking sorry. Fuck you and fuck your family if you think this is real food. It's fucking garbage. It's trash. I made this video a while back. This is some nuts on chin. Remember when he hit 300 pounds? The same fucking thing. The same fucking thing. It makes for a great thumbnail. It's great color. It's red. It's yellow. Oh my God, it pops. And he leans into this in his own videos. He makes himself look like a fucking McDonald's cheeseburger. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He makes himself look like it. He dresses just like his food. Yeah, you make a thumbnail like that, you're a sick fuck. You should be kicked off YouTube. And I don't think anyone should be kicked off YouTube. I'm just saying that because it pisses me off. This should be a, this is a health crisis. This is a health crisis. If you think it's, 
why is this not in the fun? This is why is not front page every fucking day. And I'm not talking about the New York. I'm just talking about why is this not in the common fucking conversation all the time? Obesity, preventable fucking shit. God, it's annoying. What are your thoughts? Drop a comment down below. Subscribe for more ET. Check out the podcast. Check out all the videos in the channel. I'll see you next time, fam. My melanin is popping, I'm taking skeletons on closets and making new deposits. I'm in my element, no alleys, you children popping.